welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkan Wiersma, also known as ETA. Thank you so much for uh, watching this uh, video. Uh, I hope you like the twinkle, the Oncidium twinkle orchids, as much as I do, because then this uh, video is probably of your liking. Uh, maybe you consider uh, buying them if you didn't already have. Well, first of all, uh, there's one thing is, is almost a bit distracting in the most positive way, and that is the fragrance. Especially this yellow one is, is overpowering, if you ask me, but it's so beautiful. It's a uh, vanilla, uh, sugary, sweet type fragrance, which is uh, absolutely beautiful. It's, it's so, so lovely. It's, yeah, it makes me really happy if I get a sniff of it. And... Uh, Quite often I do get, like I said, it's very, very powerful. So if you don't like the fragrance or very strong one, well, maybe this one isn't uh, for you, for your liking. I don't have a specific name for this one. It's just called uh, Oncidium Twinkle Yellow. That is how I bought it. But yeah, the yellow one is also the biggest one, the most strongest uh, uh, canes and the most bloom. So probably thereby also the most uh, powerful uh, fragrance wise. Let me compare it quickly with this uh, beautiful orange-brown one. Yeah, way softer. Still beautiful, but this is actually, uh, like I said, vanilla sugar. This, this is uh, still, yeah, a bit sherry baby, but more towards the chocolate, vanilla chocolate, I think. Yeah, and this is called Oncidium Twinkle Brown, just called brown. So I really uh, like the color of that one as well. As you can see, I have four of them. Besides that, the blooms and the colors are magnificent, if you ask me. I uh, love them. In general, I like the more bigger flowers, but these beautiful spikes with the amount of flowers really do make up for them, if you ask, uh, if you ask me. And the shape, it's so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It's, it's uh, like little fairies or something. They're so happy to me. Uh, these I refer to as my known orchids as well, because they are they just uh, do not get bigger than this. This is basically what you get. They can uh, go in width, of course, they can uh, get bigger, but uh, the actual size of the plant will not differ much. But uh, yeah, they uh, can uh, make the uh, more amounts of bulbs and thereby get a bit bigger, but not, uh, not, as, not as huge bulb-wise. So... Um, that is that. I also um, want to uh, uh, address, let me grab, well, let's do this one. Is one thing I see often with other growers as well, is the difficulties to keep those uh, nice green leaves. These are some older bulbs you see there, so that's, that's just part of it, especially when it starts to make new growth. I see this every year where some uh, bulbs do get this orange color and slowly go down. So if, if it's orange rot, they go very down very quickly. That's not happening. It goes very slow. But still, the leaves, the leaf tips, that's, that's a, a bit of a downside. And I see also a lot of growers, uh, especially on Facebook, saying, yeah, that's, that's what they just do. It's what the Oncidium do, and especially the twinkles. And still I'm like, yeah, it, they shouldn't be doing it, I think. Maybe I'm challenging myself a little bit too much, but I really like to look at them and to see what causes this problem. There are several ideas and theories behind it. That's okay, but I try to figure it out for me inside of the, this, this setup, inside of this um, orchid room that I have. And I remember that I did a care collab on these one or two years ago, maybe three years, where they... Uh, did look better, I believe, the, the leaves, and that was inside of the greenhouse. Well, um, so I wondered what's the difference. Well, the difference there was that they did get more light. Um, funny enough, when I do, did grow them in home, they did get even more light than in the greenhouse because I have them very close to the window. That is not what they like either. So they need, uh, or either, I should say, um, so they need a little less light not as much as Catleas, but still quite an amount for an Oncidium. I hope that does make sense. So I'm still balancing that out. So that's one thing I'm going to uh, um, be uh, working with this year. So if I do, uh, do forget, please remind me if uh, after several months we can do updates and see how they take, how they do. 
I must admit, this yellow one, if you look, if we look at that one, I hope you can see it. We have some lighter tips there, yes, but overall, this one just does look better. But still, still something to work with. And that's just a challenge, and I like to uh, get the best out of my plants. I think it was this one. Yeah, this one. That is blooming. Look at the size of that bulb. It's beautiful. Especially if you compare with the rest. I'm going to come a little, a little bit closer. There we go. It's such a beautiful, nice bulb. Let me turn around that so you can see the older bulbs, like this one there. And that one. That's the previous one of this bigger one. So yeah, definitely it sizes up. And that's inside of the orchid room, so that's okay, but, but the leaves, yeah. And it does, when it blooms, really drop the most of the leaves. So beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? I think everyone <laughs> will enjoy it. Of course, it's personal, but if I see something like this, I'm like, yeah, who cannot like this? You know, who cannot like this? So let's uh, have a quick look inside of the pots so you have a better idea of how I grow them. So here we go. So you can see there this one has a quite a nice root system. It's been in this setup for years. Yeah actually for years and years. So let's have a look. You see here 19. So it's 2019. So it's up to uh, uh, five years. Yeah th um, more than four years. Let, let's put it like that. Almost five. And yes, you can do that because I grow, I can do that, I should say, because I grow them in uh, a uh, inorganic media. That's one of the beauties of it. You don't have to repot because it doesn't go down. So that's not the cause. I know for sure that is not the cause. Um, I had this problem uh, longer, like I said. So uh, it's not the media. The high amount of fertilizer, well, if you watch my uh, videos, my, uh, my, uh, my channel, I should say, you know, I don't feed them with high amounts, so that's not a problem as well. Maybe it's just what they do, but I like to find uh, a solution to it. I think they can do better. So I'm going to give them more lights. I will uh, show you uh, now where I do grow them, so you have a better idea. I have them fairly close to that light. They do get some extra daylight because the window is uh, right above them. And that is changed. And I did have them in the window sale, so probably it's a little bit too cold there. That could be the problem as well. So maybe I already fixed it. We shall see how they do after they bloom. And, and probably in a year I can do another update when they are in full bloom and see how the leaves are doing. So that would be great. But yeah. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, what I do fertilizer-wise is just the same with all my orchids. I keep it low, especially in winter, and these do not eat much. So I check my reservoirs from time to time, and I can see that these always have a bit, uh, they are always in the higher range of parts per million that are actually in that reservoir. So by that I mean if I fertilize them in winter with 40 parts per million, uh, after two or three months, maybe a, a little bit more, I check them, those are always above the 100. If they are above 200, I flush them and I clean the pots. But these are always around 150 parts uh, per million in there. I'm obviously not uh, completely sure what it is, but most of that will be fertilizer. So if I keep it low, they stay around that amount, but that tells me that they don't, do not eat much because they do not get much fertilizer to start with. And if you still have a bit of a build-up, well, uh, it's very obvious to me that they just do not eat much. They just don't need it because they still make the structures, they still make the blooms. But they could do a bit better on the, on the um, leaves like we just uh, discussed. So hopefully if I have give them a more efficient light, they may start to eat also a bit better because everything goes hand in hand. So if they enjoy the light better, they can really use the nutrients and probably start up to green, start uh, producing better leaves and to green up those leaves. And then I might see a drop in that fertilizer. So that's why I like to measure things just to see if things start to make sense and just get a general idea what is going on and what these plants are doing. That's just me. I like to uh, like to do it, and obviously like to share with you guys. So yeah, but anyhow, twinkles—a beautiful time of year. I really enjoy them. 
So uh, let me know if you have some tips and tricks and, uh, uh, on these uh, guys. Uh, I really want to read them. And obviously for all our uh, viewers over here, they uh, might uh, have some beneficial comments as well. So please leave them there. And it's not only for me, but it's basically what I'm trying to say here. And of course, if you have any questions, suggestions for videos, please leave them in the comment section below as well. Thank you so much for watching. You might want to give this a, a thumbs up, share it, the videos. I really appreciate it. And if you didn't already have, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. For now, one more time, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.